The Apple iPhone 15 series is just a few months away, but leaks for that specific handset have been coming in since last week. One of the most essential details is that USB-C will eventually be available on the iPhone 15 series, according to a new EU legislation that requires Apple to make the conversion until 2024. According to recent rumors, Apple will restrict USB-C functioning on the iPhone 15 series to cables that have not been certified by Apple. That implies that if you have a Samsung cable or any other USB-C cable, it will not work properly. It will charge at a slower pace and transmit data at a slower rate. Yesterday, Shrimp Apple Pro, one of the top leakers out there, confirmed that it is definitely occurring via the USB-C is built for iPhone. Foxconn is already mass manufacturing accessories like as earpods and cables, so as I previously said, the only Apple USB-C cables or cable status by Apple will function at full USB-C speed. You can see that Apple's main purpose is to make as much money as possible, but this is going out of hand, deliberately making technology inferior in order to gain slightly less sensing fees, and therefore completely negating the whole idea of shifting to USB-C. It goes to show that Apple only cares about their financial line, not the people who use their goods, and that their whole campaign about caring about the environment is a sham. Going ahead, another significant change for the iPhone 15 series will be the elimination of both the volume and power buttons in favor of a capacitive touch button. Going on, the notch was introduced to the iPhone with the iPhone 10 six years ago in 2017, and Apple has continued to put it on the front of their display year after year. However, it seems that this is changing with the iPhone 15, since not just the Pro, but both the normal 15 and 15 Plus, will include the dynamic island in a pickled-shaped cutout. Nevertheless, it seems that the refresh rate on the ordinary model is still 60 Hz, which is really ludicrous in 2023, since even a $100 phone comes with a high refresh rate shown these days. The camera bump seems to be the same as its predecessor. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So with that been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.